And yes, in this exhibition, there's something very interesting is that you are mixing photography and video. It's very strong. So you began very early to do that? Well, I always had in mind that I don't want to be one thing. But I've been starting in the 50s where it was modern art. And I went with the contemporary art and discovered that people were making installation. And that I gave me the desire to make installation myself. And when I was given the opportunity to start, opportunity to start, which is the Biennale of Venice in 2003. With Hans Ulrich Obrist, right? Hans Ulrich Obrist. Hans Ulrich put me, he pushed me to enter that world. And I'm grateful to him because I desired, but I didn't dare, I didn't dare to do it. Being invited, I throw myself into something about potatoes that I call patatutopia. But from that moment, because I had meanwhile discovered that we can have a little video camera that I could use myself, and I still love 35 millimeter real, real cinema, so to say. So I did pieces like, well, it's not here, but like in which, oh, by the way, the triptych which is here, the kitchen scene, and what is on the side, have been shot with 35 millimeter cinema, classically. When um, the bord de mer, seaside, is a photo and a video filming. So which is so strong, I love it. This installation and their sand at, at the bottom, right? Because it's the seaside uh, expressed by three means. One is photography, and it looks like it moves, but it doesn't move. Then it's a video moving, it's the end of photography moving, real cinema. And then you have sand, which is reality. So, how can we perceive the seaside with two types of representation plus real sand? I always try to bring something true, the same way the very dream video about the hard shaped potatoes ends with real potatoes on the floor. I, I love to bring one element of, of reality to accompany the imagination. Well, it's something I like to do, to mix, to mix means and ways of, ways of filming, ways of showing. Come on, dear, dispositive setup. Yes. Well, invent, invent setups to bring images and sound and, and still images. So it's such an exciting project that I could go on like this, not forever, because now it's really late, but it gives me a lot of ideas that I'd like to do. Uh, here at the Armory, really? you know, I've been to the Armory, in the Gallery of Bania, I have one little triptych, and it's an Argentine photo from the 50s. And on the side of the triptych again, there are images, uh, numeric, uh, comment dit numeric, attends. Mm, okay. Non, attends. <laughs> C'est des... Numeric. Comment, uh... uh, comment on dit maintenant? Argentique and... Digital, okay. So the triptych... Digital, that's right. Digital. The triptych there is, again, the mixture of Time. I love to be in the same time reconciliating the past and now. So there is an image, a portrait of a woman, a woman made in the 50s, 60s maybe. But the sides of the panel are hands of babies and very small flowers, and it's made digital, digital images that I mixed, color digital mixed with adult black and white. It's like reconciliating the, in that word. The past and, the, and, yeah. and now. And the black and white and color, the digital and the argentic. And you are showing here photos that you have made and printed in 54. Yes, it, it's, it's like being together in my old time. And the three self portraits one I'm 20, then 40, then 80. And I'm the same. So I changed like everybody, but I learned, I changed. But I try to make my life like... And you are the same in 54 and now? You are the same in your head, oh, sure in your I, mind? Sure, I have learned a lot. I've felt a lot. I have 
discover about and learn. But the thing is, I don't like to see that, oh, this is the past. This is not about memory. It's about bringing the past into the present. Mm -hmm. It's making it revive all the time. That's interesting. Merci.